Australia is home to some of the world's weirdest mammals. Not least of all, the marsupials. In the dusty red isolation of the world's smallest continent, this iconic family has evolved to bound across plains and live high in the treetops. But perhaps it's a prickly cousin of theirs that is the most unusual amongst mammals. The short-beaked echidna. Covered in coarse fur and long spines, this adult female echidna looks a little bit like a toilet brush that grew a snout. A snout that is somewhat disproportionate to her other features. Like those short, stumpy legs. She may look odd, but with her features combined, she's a formidable hunter. Well, most of the time. Her diet consists mostly of ants, termites, and any other invertebrates that she can fit into her tiny mouth. She's found a cluster of termite mounds. Not always easy pickings. When disturbed, termites often retreat deep below the surface. Made from tough clay, these mounds are not easily penetrated. But not to worry. She has a trick or two up her sleeve, or nose in this case. Her long slender snout contains electrosensors that help her detect the tiny electromagnetic fields omitted by would-be prey beneath the ground. And those short, stout limbs are punctuated with tough claws for when digging is required. Before resorting to that tactic, her large snout contains another secret weapon, an extraordinarily long tongue. Otherwise known as a termite's worst nightmare. Growing up to 17 centimetres long, it's covered with tiny barbs enabling her to seek out and ensnare numerous termites in a single lick. With the ability to lick up to 100 times per minute, she has a lot of termites to digest. Especially when she doesn't have teeth to chew them up. Instead, she grinds the termites up using her tongue and gums. Tasty. As skilled a hunter as she may be, she's not at the top of the food chain. These hungry dingoes are sizing her up as a snack. But they're in for a nasty shock. Curling into a ball of spikes, she uses her strong claws to dig in tight. Her long spines are an intimidating defence but only as long as she can protect her soft and vulnerable underside. Although not the fastest of learners, these dingoes are certainly persistent. But even the most dogged of predators eventually realise when they've bitten off more than they can chew. While those spikes keep her safe, when it comes to reproducing, the echidna can only mate in one way, very carefully. As a solitary living species, echidnas only come together during mating season. Here, a train of males follows her, each hoping to get their opportunity to sow their seed. All aboard! It's all about timing. Noticing a brief window in which she is unattended, this male seizes his chance. Coming together, very cautiously, they begin to mate. 
It's not long before a rival male arrives to separate the pair, but it seems he's too late. Maybe next time. Her elongated tongue, prickly afro and stout feet aren't even her strangest qualities. Here, safe in an underground chamber, she's about to do something exceptionally strange for a mammal. She lays an egg. A single, leathery-skinned egg is laid into a pouch on her abdomen, which is then incubated for a further ten days before it hatches. Her baby is known as a puggle, a cute name for what seems to be a pink jelly bean. It spends most of its early life suckling, and looking like that, it could almost be mistaken for a fat skin parasite. After 50 days or so, the puggle becomes a little too prickly to remain a welcome tenant, and the spiky juvenile is evicted from the pouch. Still too young and not spiky enough to fend for himself, he will stay in the burrow for another six months. Of course, his mother will still check in every couple of days with a care package of food and essentials. Until the day that every mother dreads. When the puggle is all grown up and ready to face the big, wide world. He'd better behave out there. Mum's got a tongue as sharp as a whip, with a prickly attitude to match. And she just loves to stick her nose in other people's business. Mm.